A new option is available on the 2002 95 models. It is called SPA, or Saab Parking Assistance. It works whenever the driver engages reverse gear. When the car is in reverse, SPA sensors determine if there's an object behind the car. Since there is no object behind the vehicle, SID does not display Park Assist. As the car continues in reverse, a tricycle comes within SPA sensor range. Through the SID speaker, the SPA system emits two pulses per second, three pulses per second, five to twelve pulses per second, and continuous sound as the tricycle gets closer. In effect, it acts like a Geiger counter for objects behind the vehicle. The system is at maximum warning when the sound is continuous. That means an object is very close to the car. The SPA system warned of a possible accident, and the driver was able to avoid the object. This ingenious system works only when the car is going in reverse. Not only does it notice objects behind the car, it also notices objects alongside the rear bumper. This is the SPA system. Here's how the SPA system works. The process begins when the driver puts the transmission into reverse. If an object is behind the vehicle within a range of 1.8 meters, about 6 feet, the driver will see a park assist message showing up on SID and hear the beep tones commence. SPA is active whenever the vehicle is in reverse, though it does not display the park assist light or generate beep tones unless an object is detected behind the car. The SPA control module, component 630, gets a reverse message from the dice and enters into an active mode where it will monitor for objects that come within a range of 1.8 meters, about 6 feet, to the car. There are four distance sensors mounted in the rear bumper. The associated SPA circuitry starts emitting an audio tone in the cockpit through SID should an object come into the sensor zone. As the car gets closer to the tricycle, the SID speaker emits progressively faster sound warnings. The system is at maximum warning intensity when SID emits a continuous sound at 0.3 meters, about one foot. The driver is thus alerted to the object in the way and is able to avoid an accident. Behind the scenes, the SPA module, component 630, is sending data to the SID module, component 541. The system can be manually shut off by the driver pressing clear on SID for one to two seconds until the message Park Assist Off is displayed. To reactivate the system, the driver can press clear on SID for one to two seconds. However, as a safety feature, the system overrides the driver and turns on again at 0.3 meters, about one foot. Note that every time the ignition is turned on, the SPA system is reactivated. The system also notes objects alongside the rear bumper. The threshold for side detection is 40 centimeters, 16 inches. The heart of the system is the Saab Parking Assistance, or SPA, control module, component 630. It is mounted behind the left side of the rear seat in sedans and below the removable trunk floor in wagons. SPA is in communication with the DICE control module, or DASH Integrated Central Electronics. To put SPA into the active mode, DICE sends a message to SPA on the iBus when reverse is selected. SPA communicates with the driver visually and with audible tones via SID, or Saab Information Display. There are four distance sensors. Each sensor operates on the ultrasound principle, as each contains a diaphragm that works both as a speaker and as a microphone unit. The sensors both emit and sense ultrasound, like a bat in flight. The removal and replacement procedure for rear distance sensors differs between sedans and wagons. The sedan procedure is shown here. Refer to WIS for the R&R &R procedure on the wagon. As we've noted, the SPA module is located behind the rear seat back in sedans. It receives and transmits signals through K1 and K2 connectors. Notice that connector K1 is black and connector K2 is gray. The SPA control module is on the iBus and it receives the reverse message on the iBus from DICE whenever the vehicle is in reverse. 
This causes the SPA system to enter the active mode. When the distance sensors detect an object within the range of 1.8 meters, 71 inches, SPA enters the detected mode. SPA now sends messages on the IBUS, instructing SID to display Park Assist and generate the four types of beep patterns. Two pulses per second for objects at distances of 1.3 to 1.8 meters, 4.5 to 6 feet, three pulses per second at distances of 0.9 to 1.3 meters, 3 to 4 feet, 5 to 12 pulses per second at distances of 0.3 to 0.9 meters, 1 to 3 feet, and a continuous tone when a distance of less than or equal to 0.3 meters, 1 foot, is reached. As we mentioned earlier, the system also notes objects alongside the rear bumper. The threshold for side detection is 40 centimeters, 16 inches. If the object alongside the car remains at a constant distance for longer than three seconds, then side indication is halted. If the object at the side of the car comes five centimeters closer to the car, then the system will again inform the driver via a message on the SID. Like most Saab electronic modules, SPA monitors its own functionality of inputs and outputs. There are 17 DTC codes that can be generated. Let's take a look at how we can use the Tech2 read values function to monitor the SPA system. Notice that as the driver shifts to reverse, we can see that SPA has received the reverse message on the IBUS. Also, mode changes from standby to active. When an obstruction is encountered within the 1.8 meter range, 71 inches or closer, the mode changes to detected. At the same time, the four distance sensor values begin to change. If we wanted to perform diagnostics on the distance sensors, we could, for example, place an object approximately 100 centimeters, 39 inches, from one distance sensor and another object, 150 centimeters, 59 inches, from another distance sensor. Note the data parameter, closest object, indicates that the closest object is approximately 100 centimeters away. Also note that if a narrow obstruction is encountered between two of the distance sensors, SPA performs a calculation and determines that the closest object is actually closer to the rear bumper than it is to either of the two individual sensors.